Hello, this is Kevin Annett. I'm the North American Field Secretary of the International Tribunal of Crimes of Church and State, the ITCCS. I have today a very breaking news announcement. This is May the 6th, 2019. And this news is for anyone concerned about the lives of children and especially residents of Vancouver, Canada. The communique reads as follows. Catholic Anglican Ninth Circle Pedicide Cult to Hold Global Conclave in Vancouver, Canada. ITCCF sheriffs to intervene and seek assistance of local police to stop child killing rituals. The top leaders of the notorious child sacrificial cult known as the Ninth Circle will gather in Vancouver, Canada in mid-July and will conduct at least one black mass involving the ritual killing of children, according to confidential sources. The Ninth Circle Conclave will occur during and under the guise of the Anglican Church of Canada's 42nd General Synod to be held between July 10th and July 16th at the Elite Sheraton Vancouver Wall Centre at 1088 Burrard Street in downtown Vancouver. At least four convicted felons associated with the Ninth Circle and with Crimes Against Humanity in Canada will be present at this synod, including the outgoing Anglican primate Fred Hiltz, Bishop Bob Bennett, Bishop Mark MacDonald, and the Archbishop of Canterbury, Justin Welby. According to the source, this conclave of the Ninth Circle is the first of its kind in recent years, involving cult leaders from Europe, Asia, and North America. Unofficial observers from other criminally convicted churches, that is the Roman Catholic and United Church of Canada, will be present at this Anglican Synod, including Ninth Circle members Catholic Archbishop Michael Miller, and Gary Patterson, the former national moderator to the United Church of Canada. The same source states that a Ninth Circle sacrificial ritual killing of at least three children will take place at midnight on July 16, 2019, somewhere in the underground tunnel network linking the notorious Vancouver Club and the Anglican and Catholic Christchurch and Holy Rosary Cathedrals. Now in response, the global ITCCS network will be mobilizing its forces and its common law sheriffs to disrupt and stop these murderous killings and to arrest those responsible, including by enforcing the standing arrest warrants against the aforementioned felons. The ITCCS and its Interpol associates have notified the Vancouver police of these facts and have requested their assistance in making these arrests. Now, in addition, a coalition known as the Friends and Relatives of the Disappeared, the FRD, are reassembling to confront these killers at the July Synod. The Friends and Relatives of the Disappeared were actually formed in 2005 and led the first protests against these churches for their genocide of Aboriginal children. Well, the FRD is reassembling now and working alongside local Aboriginal activists to stage a series of occupations, public protests, and other direct actions at the Anglican Synod and at the Ninth Circle events. We understand as well that Aboriginal elders will be present to reinforce the eviction order they issued against the Catholic Anglican Ch and United Churches in Vancouver in 2008. Now we make an appeal to all people of conscience to join these efforts and bring a stop to child trafficking, torture and murder by these criminal churches and the Ninth Circle Associates. To join the Vancouver Action Network, contact itccsoffice at gmail.com. Also follow our work at murderbydecree.com. More reports and information will be provided on upcoming programs of our radio show Here We Stand, broadcast every Sunday at 3 p.m. Pacific, 6 p.m. Eastern, and 11 p.m. Greenwich time at bbsradio.com slash herewestand. This is issued by the Central Directorate of the ITCCS, May 6, 2019. Take action. Spread this news and this posting. Save the lives of children. I thank you.